Hi, I'm Wendy Gratz from ShinyHappyWorld.com and today we're going to talk about cutting out patterns. Now, there are some really complicated ways to cut out patterns if you're cutting out um, garment patterns, things for clothing. What we're going to talk about today are just the very, very basics. So this is just how to cut out a pattern if you're a, a very, very beginner. Today I'm going to show you working with a commercial pattern and also some of my patterns. When you're working with a commercial pattern, you're going to be working with this really fine pattern tissue. And one of the first things you, you're going to notice when you pull it out of the packaging is that it's got a lot of fold lines and wrinkle marks. And I know this seems obsessive, but what you want to do is iron those out. You'll have a much easier time laying your pattern out smoothly if it's not all wrinkled and folded up in places. So just set your iron dry so there's no steam coming out. It can go on just about any heat setting and just smooth all those wrinkles out. So that's your first step, is start with a nice smooth pattern. If you're working with a pattern that you've bought from online, like one of my patterns, um, you'll have printed it out so it's already going to be smooth. You won't need to iron the wrinkles out of the pattern, though you will want to start out with ironed fabric. So you're going to have your pattern pieces. This is for a bunny that I'm working on the pattern for. So you'll print out your pattern and then you're going to cut the pieces out. And I have magically cut out pieces here. So what we're going to cut out today is just the body and the ear. Now you've noticed that I have folded this fabric over in half. When you cut out just about anything, you're going to cut out the front and the back at the same time. That way if you go off the line just a tiny little bit, it's still going to line up perfectly. Your two pieces are going to be exactly the same. So you want to fold your fabric over so that it's either the right sides together or the wrong sides together. It doesn't matter as long as it's the same sides facing each other. You want to lay your pieces out so that they are as close to the edges of your fabric. You don't want to cut it out of the middle of your fabric because then you have a lot of wasted fabric around the edges. So cut it out as close to the edges as you can get. Lay it down there. I'm going to lay this other piece up here and then I put some weights on it. A lot of people pin their, fab their patterns down but I really like to use weights. So just hold it down in a couple of places get your fabric scissors and you want to cut all the way around as close to the edge of the pattern as you can get. This isn't a race, just go slowly and carefully all the way around. Make sure not to cut off your pattern weights, you can shift them if you need to. And you just work your way all the way around. Try not to set it up in a place where you're going to have to move it around part way through cutting. If you're going to use pattern weights, you don't want to shift it in between. So I'm not going to bother cutting the ear out. You guys can get the idea here. But you cut it out. Oops, I just cut a little of my pattern there. But that's how close you want to get it. And it's cut now all the way around the edges. And when you pull off your weights and pull off your pattern, these now are ready to sew together. They are going to be perfectly lined up. One thing I forgot to mention, on any pattern, whether it's a commercial pattern or one of my patterns, it's always going to tell you how many to cut and of what fabric. So for example, this is the bunny body and you're going to cut two out of the main fabric. That's so that you have a front of your bunny and a back of your bunny. If you look over here at the ears, this pattern piece tells you to cut two out of the main fabric and two out of the lining fabric. That way you get two ear backs and two ear fronts. If you look at this finished bunny, you'll see he's got one pattern, one kind of fabric for the lining of his ear and then of the main fabric for the back of his ear. So you can always look to the pattern pieces. It'll tell you right on the piece how many you need to cut out and of what fabric if you're working with more than one fabric. So that's it. The main things to remember are that you're cutting both pieces at the same time, the front and back of any pattern piece. So, and you're doing that out of a folded piece of fabric so that you're cutting them at the same time. And also remember to put those pattern pieces as close to the edge of the fabric as you can get them so you're not wasting fabric. Come back next time. We're going to actually start sewing. I'm Wendy from ShinyHappyWorld.com. Thanks.